Hi students, today we are going to start on small topic in the first unit of anatomy that is tissue generation, membranes and glands. And you, usually you will not get questions directly from this topic because you will be studying these topics very detail in the com coming chapter. That means in the integumentary system and the endocrine system and you will study about the membranes and the this glands okay so anyway i will uh, as it is there in your syllabus i am going to uh, give a small idea about what is meant by tissue generation what are the different types of tissues and uh, what are the different types of membranes and uh, glands main classification of glands okay it will be short video and if you didn't watch the previous six classes till now you just go and watch uh, uh, the order first day second day like that you can watch and with this video we are finishing first unit of anatomy in the next class we will start uh, first unit of physiology okay like that we parallelly we will finish anatomy and the physiology okay uh, if you uh, didn't subscribe and you, you feel like this channel is useful you can subscribe the channel and you can share with your friends also and if you have any comment suggestions any uh, opinion anything is there means you can write in the message boxes okay and uh, you will not get one more thing I, always i'm telling you won't get enough time to study you, you have only four six months to study four subjects and uh, start now itself don't wait for the exam timetable and the study leave you will it won't be enough to study this much big topics okay now we will start the class tissue generation regeneration tissue re regeneration means what's the capacity or ability to produce reproduce the cell reproduction of cell that is regeneration or uh, uh, reproduction or regeneration okay mainly in our body it's based on the reproduction or regeneration of tissue is it it occurs based on the type of cell found in that particular area okay all cell will not reproduce or regenerate only particular cells in some particular region only will reproduce or regenerate some cells will not regenerate okay so we will now we will study what are the types of cell okay what are the types of cell mainly cells are divided into three types that is labile cells stable cells and permanent cells okay here we are going to see what is meant by labile cell what is meant by stable cells what it means mean by permanent cell here you can see first one is labile cells labile cells are those in which replication replication means multiplication 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 is normally a continuous process they include cells in epithelium uh, bone marrow blood spleen lymphoid tissue okay labile cells means this type of cell these are the special type of cells it have the capacity to replicate or multiply or reproduce or regenerate continuously it is not a uh, but not a sh uh, short process it is a continuous process and where and all we can see this type of labile cells in the epithelium that means in the skin mucous membrane secretory glands duct the uterus in that we can see labile cells once these cells are damaged or died this new cells will be regenerating okay it's a continuous process there is no stop in this process it's a continuous process more than other than epithelium we can see in the bone marrow continuously bone marrow producing blood cells in the blood we can see spleen we can see lymphoid tissue this type of organ central continuously regenerating cells that's why we are telling that cells found in these organs are called labile cells okay next second type is stable cells stable cells means it will multiplicate multiplicate or replicate but it is only infrequently it is only for particular times so it's not a continuous process and there will be gaps in between sometime it will uh, multiply other times it will be uh, stagnant this is stable this not will will not multiply for some time so it that's why we, we are telling it is free infrequently it's not frequent it is not continuous it is infrequent in between it will multiply it will multiply but it is not continuous in between it will short time period it will multiply then it will be stable and it will be not multiply like that that type of cells is called stable cells stable cells have the ability to retain ability to replicate but do so infrequently okay next in which uh, organs we can see these uh, stable cells in liver kidney 
പാൻക്രിയാറ്റിക് സെൽസ് ഫൈബ്രോബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് സ്മൂത്ത് മസിൽ സെൽസ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോഗ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോഗ്ലാസ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് ദീസ് ആർ ദി ടു ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് സെൽസ് ഇൻ ബോൺ ഓക്കെ സെൽസ് ഇൻ ബോൺ കോൾഡ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോ ഓസ്റ്റിയോസൈറ്റ്സ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓസ്റ്റിയോക്ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ and muscles in the uh, smooth muscle cells fibroblast fibroblast where we studied in the connective tissue liver kidney pancreatic cells these all cells are it's not dividing continuously if it is needed it will be multiplying for short time after that it will stop that bit, that type of cells is called stable cells and the third type of cell uh, the called permanent cells permanent cells are unable to replicate it can't be multiplied okay it will not multiply once it is damaged means that's all it gone it won't regenerate okay after normal growth it is completely stagnant it won't multiply what are the examples for permanent cells nerve cells that is our neurons it's a structural and functional unit of nervous system that is neuron this cells once it is damaged means that neuron will be will not be regenerated okay next one is skeletal and cardiac muscles smooth muscles are smooth muscles are what this is stable cells it will multiply for short period is it stable cells but uh, uh, skeletal and cardiac muscles once it is damaged once it is, it is died means it will not regenerate that type of cell is called permanent cells okay what are the three types of cell labile cells stable cells and permanent cells okay then we will see what are the types of membrane what are the different types of membrane our body membranes are sheet of epithelial tissue when on side to class for epithelial tissue or epithelium i told you it is found in outer covering of the body and the inner surface of the body it is lined in cavities is spaces in our body is it so <coughs> membranes means watery surface what is surface or mu, uh, mucus membrane we can see that type of surface is called membranes okay it is made up of epithelial tissue and supporting connective tissue epithelial tissue is there and supporting connective tissue is also covering and where we can see this membrane internal structures or cavities okay inside our body internal structures and cavities we can see membranes okay mainly membranes are divided into different types first one is mucous membrane serous membrane synovial membrane and cutaneous membrane what are the four types of membrane mucous serous synovial and cutaneous and first one is mucous membrane what is mean by mucous membrane moist lining of the alimentary tract respiratory tract and genitourinary tract and it sometimes refers to as mucus okay moist layer that means our, our body outer covering also made up of uh, epithelial tissue only but there is no moist but inside our mouth you see inside your nose you see it is moist it's a watery it's water content is there moist lining of alimentary tract respiratory tract and genitourinary tract is called mucus membrane membranes found in this area in this system alimentary respiratory genitourinary is called mucus membrane otherwise is called mucus okay mucus membrane or mucus membrane consists of epithelial cells some of which produce a secretion this uh, this uh, membrane muc- the membrane in the mucus membrane produce a secretion called mucus because of this mucus only or that is a slimy tenacious fluid because of this uh, tenacious fluid only there is moist okay this type of membrane is called mucus membrane okay the cells filled up with the mucus they have the appearance of goblet goblets its appearance of goblet cells flask and are known as goblet cells that's why this uh, the secretion the cells have the ability to produce mucus called goblet cells organs lined by mucous membrane have a moist slippery surface this for example or it's a surface of our mouth it's a slippery surface the why there is watery it's because of goblet cells goblet cells produce mucus this what is the function of mucus mucus protects the lining membrane from mechanical and chemical injury it is protecting our that particular organ from mechanical and chemical injuries like respiratory tract gi tract genitourinary tract everywhere this mucus membrane is protecting our organs okay from from mechanical and chemical injury okay
and the second one type of membrane is serous membrane serous membrane otherwise called serosa mucous membrane otherwise called mucosa serous membrane otherwise called serosa it secretes a watery fluid okay secretes serous watery fluid okay serous watery fluid they consist of double layer of loose air areolar connective tissue lined by simple squamous epithelium serous membrane means it is made up of already connective tissue with i i taught you about loose areolar, areolar connective tissue and this serous membrane is made up of double the double layer of loose areolar connective tissue and it is lined by simple squamous epithelium clear the parietal layer lines the cavity and the visceral layer surrounds the organs the double layer means that that these two layers called as one is parietal layer and second one is visceral layer these two layers are separated by a serous fluid called Secreted, secreted by epithelium. In between these two layers, there is a fluid secreted by epithelium. Okay. This is serous membrane. There are three sites where serous membrane are found. Where and we can see mainly it is found in pleura. Pleura is a word question. It is a protective layer of protective covering of lungs. It is called pleura. Okay. It is uh, it found in thoracic cavity. And the second serous membrane is pericardium. It is pericardium is a double layer protective membrane covering the heart. Okay. There in, in, the, in the pleura there is a fluid. In the pleura between two layers of pleura there is a fluid that is called pleural fluid pleural fluid in pericardium also the layer which covering heart pericardium also there is two layers in between these two layers there is a small amount of fluid called pericardial fluid okay and then what is one more example for serous membrane that is peritoneum it is covering the abdominal cavity abdominal cavity is a peritoneal in the peritoneal cavity it covering all abdominal organs that's a serous membrane is called peritoneum and there is a fluid in the peritoneum that is called peritoneal fluid pleural fluid pericardial fluid peritoneal fluid this is about serous membrane Okay, the serous fluid between viscera and pleurotomy enables that. Why this uh, fluid is needed there? It, be, it is protecting our inner pleura covering uh, lungs. So, this fluid and these two layers are protecting lungs from external damages. Okay. And third one is synovial, third membrane is synovial membrane. The word itself is there, synovial means it is found, it is a membrane found in the joint cavities. We have different bone joints, so shoulder joints, hip joint, knee joint, elbow joint, so many joints are there. In this bone joint cavities, there is a membrane called a synovial membrane. This synovial membrane, in between, in the synovial membrane, this synovial membrane located in the cavity only there is a fluid collection that fluid is called synovial fluid synovial membrane secretes a clear sticky oily fluid that is called as synovial fluid it acts as a lubricant is continuously we are moving the moving our joints so in that uh, condition in the joints synovial fluid act as a lubricant it will reduce the friction between these two layers Okay, this is an example for joint, this is synovial cavity, this is synovial membrane, this fluid is called synovial fluid. Then last one is cutaneous membrane, cutaneous, cutaneous membrane means external skin, skin, our outermost layer skin is called cutaneous membrane and one more thing i told glands but here we are not going to study about glands because we will study we will be studying gl about glands in detail in the endocrine system here you should know the introduction of uh, glands that means gland is a group of epithelial cells produce specialized secretion glands will secrete specialized secretions based on the uh, secretion and the collection collection glands is divided into two types mainly two types what are the types of glands first one is exocrine gland and the second one is endocrine glands exocrine gland and endocrine gland exocrine gland means the glands that produce and secrete substances but it is it will be collected in the duct okay glands exocrine glands the glands produce chemical substances or secretion but it will be collected in a duct okay it's it will connected connected collected in a duct that type of gland is called exocrine gland for example sweat gland salivary gland mammary gland serumenous gland lacrimal gland 
sebaceous gland mucus these all are secreted by glands the exocrine glands but it is collected in the duct then what is the uh, uh, difference of endocrine glands what is mean by endocrine glands it is known as endocrine glands known as ductless gland that means endocrine glands also producing secretion these secretions are known as hormones okay glands endocrine glands produce producing different secretions these secretions are called as hormones but there is no duct to collect the 